game out there in tough conditions, Anthony? Yeah, really tough. Um, conditions again, real leveller. Um, we probably didn't play them that well in the first half. Um, yeah, really disappointing, disappointing day today. As you say, the conditions played a huge part in the game today, but um, it was the same for both sides. Um, we're going to go away from it really disappointed and we're going to have to learn some lessons from it, um, taking into next week and the rest of the season. So, yeah, it's a tough day for us, but um, we're, we're going to have to improve from it. Rochdale's defence seemed to be really up on uh, the Featherstone players quite quickly. Yeah, we, we talked about that. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on us out, so we're straight up in the faces, so we didn't have any time to play with ball. And um, we should have stayed more towards the sidelines, but we went away from that a little bit. You know, we, we made easy field position and stuff. It's just probably getting that repeat set. You know, we, we kicked a couple of dead today, and um, yeah, we just we didn't really turn the screw on them. Um, I think we had plenty of ball and possession, and some chances, first and second half. I think we had enough ball and we create, created enough chances to, to win it, to win the game if it was only going to be close. Um, so I can't. I don't think that was a reason we got beat. Um, as I said, Rochdale defended pretty well in that first half and we may have been a bit guilty of overplaying. But as I said, as the game went on, I think we had enough chances to win it. Um, just unfortunately for us, we didn't take them and then they got that late penalty at the end. Obviously, that's something that they'd identified in the week to put pressure on those kickers. And uh, yeah, they did a decent job there. You know, taking no you know, respect to, to Rochdale, they came here and the, they played the conditions. And uh, yeah, we was winning up until obviously 78 minutes. So, you know, we're not far off. I know, obviously, the conditions had a massive part and, you know, I'd like to take him out of it, but, you know, a few refereeing decisions there weren't, weren't great either. What's it like being out on the wing in conditions like this? Obviously, as a winger, it's not going to promote a free-flowing style of play that, that you like. No, no, it's hard because, obviously, it's not um, good for passing ball about, so you don't get as involved as much by finishing and getting on end at plays, but you just got to get in and do your scoots and carries coming out of backfield and just help big boys out. And when you got that drop goal, when you slotted it over, did you think that that, that possibly was the game? Um, you know, I don't know. It was obviously 10 minutes to go. I just thought it put us in a good a good position. Um, but then again, you know, we didn't we didn't play play the sets out there at the end. We, you know, we probably should have kicked the ball in touch a few times, and you know, we come up with a few errors in in the last five ten minutes there. We knew there wouldn't be too many points in it, so it was a good idea to put that, that point over at the time. But I think I'm not sure how long was left. I think it was about, might have been 10 minutes left then. So there was plenty of game still to be played. And uh, I still think we should have. We had some more chances and maybe could have closed it out in the last five minutes a little bit more. But um, they got the ball and they made a, a bit of a hard ha half break. And then it was a penalty, which I thought, I don't know, I'll have to look at it again, but I thought it was a bit. It was a big call considering the circumstances. I don't know what more um, Richie Mark could have done to get out of the way. I don't think he interfered with playing anywhere, but yeah, I'll have to have a look at that again. But yeah, he, he's kept his nerve and put it over, and unfortunately for us, it, uh, it's cost us a game. And with your style of play, you must be praying for the for the grounds to get drier. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, summer rugby, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. So that game's gone now. Looking forward to Sheffield away next Sunday evening under the lights at Wakefield. Uh, it's a matter of picking yourselves back up and uh, getting ready for that game. It is, yeah, and we will do. Um, as I say, the, the season's not won and lost over one game. Um, it, it's a lot, it's a lot long few months, and uh, we're going to have ups and downs as we go along. But uh, as long as we learn from it and we get stronger each time, uh, we'll be all right towards the end.